Thank you all for coming. Uh, we're the Giggers and Facebook friends. Uh, it's nice to see people I've only seen some pictures of. Uh, Ed uh, led to Where the Gig in particular and also Facebook. Um, <coughs> it's a sad occasion, obviously, and a lot of us we really didn't know Stephen apart from his Where the Gig uh, writings and his uh, Facebook writings, and particularly his postings of uh, music and his postings about uh, films and TV. A uh, lot of, lot of uh, his, uh, his TV tapes to his very old uh, series, The Professionals, and so on. But what do, we, I thought, what do I know? What do a lot of us know about Stephen? And the truth is, a lot of us don't really know a lot about him, apart from quite often his single line postings that used to create in Whirly Gig. Uh, reams and reams of replies that other people might, like me, might write. Uh, three or four paragraphs and not get a response as uh, irritates a lot of people. But he's quite often, in his own little way, he would write one line and everybody would respond to it. And they used to, it used to infuriate me uh, sometimes because I didn't sometimes understand what he was saying. And the same on Facebook, sometimes somebody would pop up and I had no idea what he was talking about. But to most of us who knew him, uh, it was obviously very, uh, 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 like the fact really, because he could remember dates of when something was in the hit parade, when the film was on TV and things like that. And it used to fascinate me that, that he could do that. Um, but on Whirly Gig, in the earlier days, he used to write quite a bit about his life, uh, which was, uh, I thought, quite sad, really, with the way he was, because he was obviously quite a loner, really. And, and I found that very sad. I find anybody that's very lonely uh, sad. Uh, particularly in this government, I suppose we do an loneliness and isolation program, but you wouldn't know it. Um, and the things that I'm involved in, uh, we're trying to highlight loneliness. And Stephen was an example of it. It really, it really was. It, I presume he went on to his flat, locked his door, and that was it for Stephen. It was very sad. But somebody sent me an email yesterday, which I'm going to read out because I think it sums up what we all thought about Stephen. And this lady, she lives in Canada, and she said, Dear Ray, just to say that I first met Stephen Gordon on a long running board called Where Are the Fifties on Friends Reunited when they branched out into connections. For a couple of years, which for a couple of years, which put people together from different schools or even from high schools, and across the Atlantic for a subject board all about the fifties. It was started by an expat from the UK who missed the home country very much from across the sea in Florida. Many, but not all of us, were from the same North London school. And then there was Stephen, about a decade younger than the rest of us, but more knowledgeable about 50s music, film and TV than the rest of us put together. He was always kind, and if things got a bit rough on the board for any of us, which they did from time to time to time, he always knew when to pop in and say a kind and sympathetic word without taking sides. The board had some great contributors and we all became friends and it continued through Friends Reunited groups and eventually onto Facebook where I did not follow. Sadly, the originator of the board passed away just a few days after Stephen, after a long illness. Another member died tragically in 2014. Web friends, of course, are not like real life ones. 
So there are times when one feels very close and understanding friendship with them in this different dimension. Such was Stephen. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to reach out and come together in these sad circumstances and be assured that there are many from Friends Reunited who will be there with you in spirit tomorrow. Thank you, Doreen Provost. Now, she said something that I've always said in, in this email, which is why I brought it along. Well, friends are, of course, not like real life. Mm -hmm. I've always said that. You know, I, I've always said, when people say, you're my friend, but I'm thinking, you friend somebody, and you think to yourself, I'm not a friend. I don't know them. Like this Steve Rowe, I know what he posted. And like a lot of people who uh, we've met today, I don't know who you are. But when this happened to Stephen, I have to say, that I was so concerned about it. And obviously, all my preconceptions about web friends <coughs> went out the door. It, it really did, because I was so concerned about what had happened, as you could see on my words and posting. And it's changed my perception completely. We are friends in one way or another, with one another. We do are concerned, and that concern isn't just, uh, uh, I'm going to put it, uh, ephemeral concern. It's, it's a real concern, particularly with somebody like Stephen. A lot of us have some sort of family support, and Stephen didn't. He just had himself. He only used to, I would say, support, but on Facebook, he used to face, post a lot of things about his mother. If, if you've got a mother in a million, you know, treasure her, and so on and so forth. So obviously, he thought a lot about his mother. But he made, to me, on the internet, he made a difference. He really was a man who people interacted with one way or another. Whether uh, a lot of you may have done what I did, which is maybe be sent him a DVD or music and so on and so forth. But I never spoke to him like a lot of I never spoke to him. I didn't know what his phone number was. I, I, I knew where he lived because I sent him these things. But other than that, I knew really very little about him. And I think that's a, a sad reflection of today's society. But we are quite happy to interact on Facebook or whatever, but we don't make that little leap to find out verbally if he's okay or by ringing him or whatever. And I, I do think that's something that we all are guilty of, even with our own family. But Stephen, I think, was a while. I think he was, from my experience, he was a, he was a, a, a nice, to me, compared to me, a nice, compared to a lot of you, a nice human man. But the fact remains is he died, I think, a sad and lonely death. And I think that's an awful thing in this day and age, I really do. Uh, uh, John Dunn said, any man's death diminishes me, for I am involved in mankind. And that Stephen is one of those men who does diminish us all. On Worley Gate, a man died a couple of years ago, he had a family, and so he was okay. But some of us on Worley Gate still miss his postings about music. Some of us think, you know, uh, we'd like to see somebody else, and there aren't a lot of people anymore posting in the same way on Wherley Gate. Um, so Steve is going to be missed on top of, and I know he was on lots of different websites. It was very difficult to, to I tried to follow the websites he was on to post about him, but uh, it's so difficult he was on one, 50s, 60s, and 70s music and so on. Um, and I, could, I just couldn't follow them all to see where, where he went. But he did have a lot of Facebook friends. Uh, how much he interacted with them, I don't know. And a lot of them were film stars and TV stars. And that was his life. That was his total life to me. And, and again, I think it's a sad reflection on everybody that some uh, do that. But there's not much more I can really say because I, I honestly only knew through these different uh, web pages. But I think now the internet is a different world to me now because of Stephen and what happened to him. It really is. Um, I just think it's very sad. So Susan, who, who did know him very well, do, do you want to say something, Susan? Can you just come and say a few words? Mm -hmm. Come on, I'll give you some more. <coughs> Hello. Um, as you know, I'm Susan. And um, I've been friends with Stephen since the age of 12. Stephen was 13 when he was at the fourth star. Um, Rafe basically said everything I could say other than uh, with Stephen, if he was a friend, he was a friend. And 
he was very open about the fact he was being really close to him. And I was fortunate enough for him to be able to do that. And, you know, he told me a lot of his private life. So that was very fun. <laughs> but um, he was just unique. He, he never had a bad bone in his body, not a bad thing to say about anybody. Um, he was the most caring person I've ever known, I think. And he just lived for his mum and he lived for his music and and that was easy. He liked to get his um, travel um, things to the buses and other places out and and that was Stephen. He he just was a very private person. He loved people, but more on the internet rather than face to face. I don't know what else to say really. Other than you know, we've lost some people in a very special way. We really have.
Well, that's it. Thank you all for coming. The last mm-hmm. track that the retailers will leave is the last track we actually put on the Facebook. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit of a bit. I won't say it was proper rock and roll, but it's a bit of a rocker. But that was the last track we put on the Facebook. Our door is only fitting uh, with his wide knowledge of music, but we say that last track was to do. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.